What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another rapid disc review. Um, we're out here at a new course. Well, actually it's not even open yet. They do have tee pads down and they do have some flags up. So we're going to be testing some things out. But main reason I'm here is we're going to be doing a review on the new ThoughtSpace Nuance. This one here is coming in at 175 grams. Picked this up from Fly Factory the other day. It's got this beautiful Rasta stamp and I love this ethos plastic um it's one of my favorites i'm not a big fan of clear plastics generally but i just I, I really do like the ethos i think it looks really good and it feels pretty good so so yeah we're gonna be giving this a test flight out here today throwing it around i can't remember the numbers i believe the numbers on the nuance are a seven five negative two one i'll put that up on the screen if i'm wrong but yeah we're gonna get into it we're gonna throw it a few times out here it's a little bit windy it's a little bit chilly out here today so we might not be at our best but I promised you guys that we'd be making more videos, so we're out here doing it. All right, let's get it. So I'm just assuming that this is gonna be hole one right here. There's a little stake down there in between the trees. Um, looks like a really nice forehand gap. So there's like nothing in your way, or you can go with a nice hyzer backhand. We're just gonna kind of throw it out there and just get a, get a feel for what this disc does. I might even throw it um, way to the left and kind of have it drift right. We're not really aiming for the, the stake down there. I just want to show you guys how this disc flies. So we're going to throw it out there towards the more open, open field out there. See how she's working. Oh, there's that negative two. It actually wasn't too bad of a shot for this hole, but um, not exactly where I wanted that to go. I didn't give that the height that it needed to, uh, to continue to pan and possibly fight out, but does look like it's going to be slightly understable. Uh, we do also have a little bit of wind pushing the disc this way, so could have been a little bit of a factor. So I'm pretty excited about this new course coming into town. Um, it's actually really close to my house. It's going to be probably our new rapid disc review spot because uh, it's looking really, really wide open and looks like there's a little bit more room to throw here. As you guys may have seen in some of my previous videos, some people aren't too happy with the way that I throw discs around at 4-H. Um, you know, it's a public park. I'm allowed to do what I want to do, but I understand where they're coming from at the same time. So um, it looks like we're going to have a little bit more freedom here, a little bit more open area. So yeah, let's throw it on a little bit of hyzer this time, and maybe we'll pick a different tee pad. Uh, looks like this is probably going to be hold two, and it looks like a bomber. So we're going to get to it. I'm assuming that this is going to be hole two. The flag is right underneath that tree on the left side. So similar shot shape, shot shape to hole one. Looks like it's going to be another turnover or another forehand. We're going to throw this nuance out there, try to get it a little bit higher up, try to do the similar throw to the first throw. Um, I was going to throw it on hyzer, but this doesn't look like a hyzer play. So we're going to show you guys the drift on it a little bit. See if we can't put it up a little bit higher and do it. A little bit of headwind. Wow. I feel like I even threw that on a little bit of hyzer this time and it flipped up and still turned a lot. Like I said, we did have a little bit of head headwind cross left to right, but that thing is seeming to be pretty understable so far, which is not a bad thing. I do like that. So um, I just needed to throw that again a little bit higher and a little bit more to the left, but I still don't think that was a bad shot. We're pretty close to the basket or the stake. All right. So, so far this course has a lot of really similar shots, wide open, just kind of straight ahead of you, maybe 250, 300 feet. Um, so we're just gonna put this thing on there on hyzer and see what it does. Nice little flip up to flat and goes really straight. That's actually really cool. Didn't have a lot of wind that time. So didn't, uh, didn't flip all the way over, but I also did put that on a lot of hyzers. So yeah, that's not too bad of a shot there. So again, with another similar shot, we just kind of went to a random tee pad here. Um, it's the basket's going to be behind that tree over there. So we're going to throw this out on a big wide spike hyzer and see if it'll kind of flip up and ride, see what it does. Oh, I turned it. I didn't give it enough hyzer. Well, that was that, I guess. Didn't put it on your enough hyzer. All right, we're gonna end it out. Try to throw this thing on a big anhyzer. I don't know how well that's gonna work. It's probably just gonna burn over, but we're gonna give it a lot of height. Try to put it like over those branches and just let it drift. This one, I think this hole is really gonna be to 
that stake right there, which is kind of short, but we're just gonna ignore that and just throw this thing. We do have like a little right to left crosswind, so maybe it won't burn over too bad. A little nose up, but it seems so floaty. Like it just seemed like it stayed in the air for a long time. So that's pretty cool. I did throw that a little bit nose up, so didn't want to drift too much. Probably helped it out there. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really like this disc. I might actually end up throwing it in the bag for a little while, kind of replacing my Brave Ozone slot, the, just the flippy seven speed slot. Also, I'm really liking this new course. It seems really open. Seems like it's going to be a really nice course to come out and do my distance reviews and or my disc reviews because I think we're going to have a little bit more room to throw here. And also there's this whole other side of the field that they're not using as a disc golf course that we could go out if this course was too busy or they're doing an event here or something like that. We could always go over there and throw on that side and, and there shouldn't ever be anybody on this side of the course. So pretty interesting there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this disc in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think about this new course. We're super excited for it to for them to put baskets down and uh, we're gonna see how close we were to guessing the layout. Um, we're playing it through a little bit. It is gonna be a new 18 holes, 18 hole course. So we're super excited about having a new 18 hole around here and it's close to the house. So I'm super excited personally. So yeah, guys, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.